Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about a small part that looks pretty simple, but plays a crucial role in your engine's health, the thermostat. Most drivers don't realize how important it is until it stops working. So in this video, we'll cover everything. Why the thermostat is so important, what happens when it fails, why it can go bad, and how you can fix or replace it. Let's start from the beginning. The thermostat is basically the temperature controller of your engine. It makes sure the engine reaches its optimal operating temperature as quickly as possible and then keeps it steady. Hey, why is that so important? Because an engine only runs efficiently when it's warm enough. During the cold phase, the engine burns more fuel, produces more emissions and wears out faster. If it constantly runs too cold, that will cause long-term damage. The thermostat is usually located between the engine and the radiator, often inside a small aluminum or plastic housing. Inside, there's what's called a wax-filled expansion element. This reacts to temperature changes. As the engine warms up, the wax expands and opens a valve, allowing coolant to flow through the radiator. When the engine cools down, the wax contracts again and the valve closes, keeping the coolant inside the engine so it heats up faster. When everything's working correctly, the thermostat keeps the engine temperature stable, usually between about 85 and 95 degrees Celsius, depending on the vehicle. But what happens when it doesn't work? That's actually one of the most common reasons for temperature issues in cars. A bad thermostat can fail in two ways. It can stick open or it can stick closed. If it sticks open, coolant constantly flows through the radiator even when the engine is cold. That means the engine never reaches its proper temperature. You'll notice the temperature gauge barely moves up even after a long drive, and the heater inside the car might blow only lukewarm or even cold air. The fuel consumption goes up because the engine stays in cold start mode, injecting more fuel to keep running. Over time, this increases wear because the oil never reaches its ideal viscosity. If the thermostat sticks closed, coolant can't flow to the radiator at all. The engine will overheat very quickly, and that's dangerous. Overheating can lead to serious damage like a blown head gasket, a warped cylinder head, or even a complete engine failure. If you see the temperature gauge climb past normal or the warning light comes on, stop immediately and let the engine cool down. Driving on could destroy the engine within minutes. So, why does a thermostat fail in the first place? The most common reasons are wear and buildup. Over the years, the wax element can become sluggish or start leaking. Scale, rust or dirt particles in the cooling system can block the valve. In modern vehicles with electronically controlled thermostats, the electronic part can also fail. For example, because of a bad temperature sensor or a malfunctioning control unit. Sometimes the thermostat isn't the real problem. The issue might be in the entire cooling system. For instance, low coolant levels, a failing water pump or trapped air in the cooling system can all cause similar symptoms. Using the wrong or old coolant can also lead to corrosion and deposits that clog the thermostat. That's why regular maintenance is key. Changing coolant according to the manufacturer's schedule and properly bleeding the system. If you want to check whether your thermostat is faulty, there are a few simple signs. As mentioned earlier, if the engine doesn't warm up properly or overheats too quickly, that's a red flag. You can also feel the temperature of the radiator hoses. Right after starting the engine, they should stay cold until the engine warms up. Only then should they start getting hot. If the hose gets hot within a few minutes, the thermostat is probably stuck open. If it stays cold even as the temperature gauge rises, it's likely stuck closed. Some workshops also use diagnostic tools or infrared thermometers to check the exact temperature when the thermostat opens. On vehicles with electronically controlled thermostats, you can often see error codes through the onboard diagnostic system. So how can you fix or replace a bad thermostat? In many cases, replacement is the best option. It's usually not an expensive part, typically between 20 and 100 US dollars, depending on the car. More advanced, electronically controlled thermostats can be a bit pricier. The replacement process usually takes between half an hour and two hours, depending on the vehicle. To replace it, you have to drain the coolant, remove the thermostat housing, replace the gasket, install the new thermostat and reassemble everything. Then refill the cooling system and bleed it carefully. With newer cars, it's very important to use the correct coolant type. 
since the wrong mixture can cause chemical reactions and build up inside the system. If you're mechanically skilled, you can replace the thermostat yourself. But be careful, never work on a hot engine. Coolant can easily reach over 90 degrees Celsius and cause severe burns. Always let the engine cool down completely before touching anything. For cars with an electronically controlled thermostat, the process is a bit more complex. You'll often need diagnostic equipment to reset or calibrate the new part, and it's a good idea to check that the engine control unit is communicating properly with the thermostat after installation. In the end, the thermostat may be small, but it's absolutely essential for your engine's health. It keeps the temperature in the ideal range, saves fuel, prevents excessive wear and protects the engine from overheating. Paying attention to your temperature gauge and keeping the cooling system maintained will save you from a lot of trouble in the long run. So that's it for today's video. If this helped you understand your car a bit better, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you've ever had to replace a thermostat yourself and how it went. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.